Hey there. Hello. Joe here with Deuce at my feet. He's probably going to jump up here and make this difficult. It's like, ew, 1140-ish a.m. here in Youngstown, Ohio. Um, I got the day pretty much to myself. My girlfriend's heading up to uh, Cleveland for a show. Uh, her and her daughter, they got like, like the VIP or season tickets or whatever to like, you know, plays and musicals and stuff. Anywho, I did some, uh, got a new phone, got a new Samsung here. Let's see how this thing does. And, uh, hey, I want to show you some new projects. Well, not projects, projects that were backburnered. Now they have a little bit more to go on. I ordered on eBay for the uh, square body trucks uh, this right here. It's a... Um, Bumper, front and rear bumper, because you know the deserter kit comes with those bumpers that have the markers down here, which I think only a certain year had, and the truck I'm duplicating didn't have those. So now I just have to, you know, clean those up a little bit, and, uh, ta-da, I have, you know, the only thing it doesn't have the guards that the truck I'm duplicating had. And then there's a rear step bumper with the tread plate. Now the bumper i'm duplicating had one of those aftermarket bumpers that came down at an angle and went across but uh the truck i'm duplicating also was in the process of being fixed up my boss was going to keep it so i'm going to make it as he would have finished it eventually so yeah it's not totally accurate you know but um at least i don't have to deal with those front markers sanding those off you know, I just didn't like that. And, of course, the grill is a GMC grill in that kit. And I ordered this a while back. And there's the, you know, deserter body. So, I guess it's the proper grill that his truck, our truck, the shop truck had. So, that takes care of that. I got the flares from the Sodbuster that are going to, you know, go on here. I mean, that's not the right one, but you get the idea. You know, I'll put the flares. We had flares in ours. And this kit also comes with the Chevrolet rear panel instead of GMC. Now, the only thing is, it's meant to fit the kit's tailgate. Now, the funny thing is, the kit has no handle unless it's separate in the box. I'll have to look to see if it's a separate piece. But there's no real handle there um, molded in. There may be a separate one that glues there. I don't know. But see, this resin piece, I got to clean it up a little there, is you know, beveled to fit in there, like so. And it should be flusher than that. And then, of course, it gets like a stainless look. It's not really chrome, it's more like a brushed aluminum. But here's the aftermarket lung bed I got, the resin bed. Now the tailgate on this one is molded in. And this does fit, but it doesn't sit as flush. So either I have to file this open, these bevel this more, so it drops in there a little further, or being it's resin, it'll be a mess. I gotta take this tailgate out and uh, put this tailgate in its place. Either way, I'm cutting and grinding. <laughs> so, eh, you know, it's a six of one half tons than the other. I, either way, I got to work on this bed. You know, there's no way around it. But yeah, that's that, you know, because here's the bed that it comes with. You know, which is improper. It's, I mean, a short bed, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's got the Colt Seavers full guy compartment here. Well, his truck was a long bed. So, but the truck we had was long. So, hey, there you go. But yeah, I, I got those in and it even comes. I got to make sure to put these back in the bag. Because if I sneeze, these are going bye-bye. Let's see if I can, God, I can even see them. There we go. See if they'll focus. New camera. I, I haven't quite figured out where the lighting is yet. I don't see a button to make it light. 
But anyhow, yeah, they're kind of focusing there. Let me see if I can do this. Yeah, there you go. A little bit better. But yeah, it's got the Silverado emblems, which this truck, come back up here, has nothing here. So, of course, these will get glued. Something like this. I probably got, yeah, something to that, that degree. Wherever they go, I got pictures of the real thing, but... So yeah, so it came with those too. So that came in today. So there's that project. It's all going to get back burned for now. As with so many others. But at least those came in. I saw those online the other day. I'm like, hey, I could use those. Now I don't have to grind those stupid <clears throat> marker lights off the front bumper. Um, that, you know, that year didn't have. And... What else did Joe do today? Joe, been doing some running around this morning. And um, like I said, I got to get out in that yard here pretty soon. As much as I don't like to, it's probably going to be as good as the weather is going to get. I stopped at Ollie's and I picked up this. It's 148th scale. Now, normally I don't go out of my scale range, but I figure this is more... Uh, uh, of a reserve for the small group build. Even though I got a couple 130 seconds up on the shelf, I figured out this will be extra stuff, you know, for whenever the small group builds happen, I'll, I'll stockpile them. Now, this one was a little bit more than I thought it was. I never looked at the price, or else I honestly might not have bought it. Um, this one was $14.99. And uh, they're saying the regular price is $29.99. I, I don't know. i never seen this version, though. The white and the uh, Oregon Chief, but it's still not a bad price. Because I thought I also picked up this. Now this one, where's the price tag? Oh, this one is nine ninety nine. Now it's a snap kit, it's one thirty second. But then again, you know more uh, small group, small scale group build fodder. So hey. I forgot I'd get it. Excuse me. Why not? And then... <laughs> another... I'm going out of my scale range. But this time... The other way. Dun, dun, dun. Let's do this. I don't know why this thing doesn't have a light for the video. There's no icon on the screen. I'll have to check the settings. But yeah, I picked up this. It was... What, $14.99? Yeah, 15 bucks. I mean, I probably won't even wrap, take the wrapper off it. It'll probably just go on the shelf and I'll, uh, you know, save it for whatever. You know, maybe I'll, you know, trade it or sell it at a swap meet. You know, I'm not going to try to double my money or nothing, but, you know, if I sell it for 20 bucks, and yeah, so be it. You know, mark it for 25 and, if anybody him haws and you know they'll take twenty. If I make five bucks on it, great. If I use it for trade fodder, you know, so be it. You know, uh, but that's I bought it because it was there. It was the last one on the shelf because I saw some guy walking around with one. I said, "Hey, they got some." He goes, "Yeah, they're on the other side of the aisle over there." I'm like, "Oh, okay, cool." He goes, "There's only one left." And I'm like, "I may as well get it." Like I said, I normally don't, don't do the bigger scale. But this time I did. And look who's on my lap. Do say hi to the people. Ah. He he's so needy and clingy at times. Ah. Yeah, Deuce loves to be part of everything. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I just got that stuff in today. I wanted to try the new camera out here see what it looks like and see how it's compatible with the editing program i noticed my other phone my spare phone over here that i kept um it does everything except it's not a phone anymore it'll take calls but nobody can hear me uh, now like if i record a voice or record you know a video that microphone works because there's two mics by what i've heard 
So the microphone for the phone didn't work. That's the reason I stopped using that one. It's basically a music player and a camera. But however, I noticed I made a pretty long video the other day. And I used the editor to, you know, you know uh, complete it. And it chopped it up in like three separate little videos. I'm like, what the hell? And I'm like, so I, so that's why when I made my last video, I purposely kept each of them like 10 minutes long and just, you know, ran them together, edited them together. So I'll see if this phone likes this, uh, editing program, if it does the same thing. But so far, we're only at 10 minutes anyhow. So what do you want? And somebody's still in my lap. Huh? Deuce. Really? See, there's the paw. What? He's such a big baby. But. Okay, well, I'm going to go do some stuff and. Oh, excuse me again. Damn. I thought I slept enough. <laughs> I never sleep enough. But no, I got a new spring for my lawnmower. Uh, it's got that. It's called a choke vein. And it's got a little tiny spring that holds it to this little piece. And right now it's just flopping back and forth. And that's why the mower is running crappily. But I found out even when you throttle it, the choke vein moves too. Even though it's linkaged to the muffler as a thermostat. It's all weird. But I watched the video and they said, yeah, that little spring's gone. You're going to have trouble. Because it's either going to hold the choke open or closed or in between when it's not supposed to. It may run right for a while. It may start right for a while. And then it's going to... Uh, what you might call it, stall or not start and run slowly and bog down. And that's what it's doing. So I picked up a spring and I just got to, you know, put that on the linkage and hopefully that's it. And I can go out there and mulch some leaves. So I was waiting for it to warm up and dry out a little bit more too because we had rain all day the other day and it misted most of the day yesterday too. And it was misting this morning. So it's like, uh, now all that crap's wet. But I want to get some done today, maybe some done tomorrow. Because I don't know if I'm going to have a chance to get to it after this. Deuce, really, who wants an extreme close-up of Deuce? Extreme close-up. There you go. He's such a ham. All right, people.